Vital Science communities are responding to our changing world. Learners, researchers, thinkers, doers, creators, and stewards are working together to explore, share, and learn about climate change. We're enabling novices and experts alike with the tools they need to move knowledge and take action around climate-sensitive issues like invasive species and energy use. As climate shifts, our ecosystems are increasingly vulnerable to invasive species. Today, students statewide are using the power of the web to document native species, find invasives before they take hold, and monitor environmental change like no other community can. They're partnering with scientists who need students' help. So we're excited to know that you're also collecting data, and I can't wait to see what you have. When we went outside, we immediately went to the entrance of our quadrat. We thought that was kind of like a secret base because it's in the woods. We were so shocked when we saw something that looked exactly like purple loose strife. We immediately got to work trying to identify it. So north 43. We can prove we found Japanese knotweed because the leaves are oval and have smooth edges. The stem is long and hollow and the leaves zigzag off it. It is much taller than everyone in the group, at least two feet taller than Ryan and Zach. Those rocks were hard to pick up, so it wasn't... Your pictures were great. They make confirming your find really easy. Did you see any birds eating the fruits? I'm curious as to which bird species are dispersing oriental bittersweet. My group was looking for the same thing here at Massabesic Middle School. We thought we didn't find it, but now that we're looking at your pictures, we think it might be here. That's what we're doing today. We are also moving our community toward a more personal understanding of climate change. By 2012, 95% of Maine households will have smart meters, enabling students to monitor their home energy use, take immediate action to reduce consumption, and share and learn with the Vital Signs community. We've designed Vital Signs so that others will apply it to their own needs by remixing, reusing, and sharing. We've built our site in the open source Drupal environment and licensed our content with a Creative Commons attribution-only license. We're ready to deepen self-directed and peer-to-peer -peer learning in Vital Signs programs. We're excited to build a new Vital Signs community of practice around reducing energy consumption. We're fired up to demonstrate how these communities motivate students to learn and shape their own futures. And who knows, who knows where these kids are going to go with this?